All right, so guys, how do you convert PSI to kilopascals? You may look in the tire, they say fill to this level of PSI or this level of kilopascals. What does that mean? Well, I'm gonna explain it. So, they're very, 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 very different. You gotta know that from one, from one thing. PSI is pounds per square inch. So the pressure at one PSI is the pressure of one pound on approximately one square inch. Kilopascals are a thousand pascals. Now, what is a pascal? A pascal is one newton of pressure spread out over an entire meter. So these are very, very different. If you lie down, your shirt is probably putting more than a pascal of pressure on your chest. But if you lie down and a 300 pound man is standing on your chest, that is probably less than one PSI. One kilopascal or one pascal probably wouldn't even feel it. One PSI could break your ribs and smother you. So as you can see, a PSI is a much higher pressure than a pascal, which is one of the reasons why we use kilopascals. So but let's get into it, okay, shall we? So one pa so a kilogram is roughly 2.2 pounds. It, on Earth, a kilogram is 9.8 newtons. So to convert this, we're going to simply remove that. Divide both sides by 2.2, 2.2, and basically one pound is equal to 4.5 newtons. So one pound is equal one pound is equal to 4.5 newtons. So we've now converted the forces here. Now let's convert the areas. So a square meter is 100 centimeters on each side. And there are 2.5 centimeters in an inch. So let's just kind of take this. So let's see, let's do our areas here. So this is, a, so 100 centimeters divided by 2.54 is equal to roughly 39.4. So each side is 39.4 inches. A meter is a little bit more than a yard. Now since this is a square meter, this isn't a linear meter, this is a square meter. So we're going to have to take that 39.4 and square it, which is going to give us roughly 1,550. Roughly. Roughly, roughly, roughly. Now, that means that a pound is 4.5 times more than a newton. It also means that the area is 1,500 times more concentrated. Remember, part of what makes a pascal so weak is not just that a, a newton is smaller than a pound, it's also that that force is spread out over a much, much, much bigger area. So. The pound, is, or the pound is 4.5 um, times more. The area is roughly 1,550 times more. And what you get is roughly 6,900. So there's 6,900 pascals in one PSI of pressure. So one PSI of pressure is 6,900 um, pascals. Now, since a pascal is so weak, we generally don't use it. It does not make sense to you know, list the pressure of a car tire in pascals. There'd just be too many zeros, and the more zeros you have, the more likely somebody is to lose one, and if somebody loses one then, or gains an extra zero, well, then you explode a tire and nobody wants that to happen on the freeway. So we don't use pascals, we use kilopascals, it's a thousand, um, kilo, uh, thousand pascals in a kilopascal, so one, two, three, move our decimal point. And so we basically get that one PSI is equal to 6.9 
kilopascals. So if you're converting pascals, uh, PSI to kilopascals, you need to divide by 6.9. Is that right? No, sorry, you need to multiply by 6.9. One PSI, you need to multiply by 6.9 to convert that to kilopascals. If you want to go from kilopascals to pounds, uh, to PSI, you've got to divide by 6.9. Is that right? I'm almost trying to get, make sure I got that right. Yes, because one PSI is bigger than a kilopascal, so yeah, you need to, to get from um, pounds to kilopascals, you need to multiply by that because you need more of them, because a PSI is bigger than a kilopascal. So, anyway, I hope you've had this um, I hope this has been useful. I know I haven't done many of these videos lately. I've been um, um, meaning to get back into it, and this was my first attempt to get back into it. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope I can figure out how to turn off this camera. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.